Here we going, right. I've just been to the Hogs 120th rally, right, the Hoggies, right, and how's this? There was no fucking free coffee, but when they meet at the Harley shop, it's all free coffee. Anyway, I've met Jay, right, this is Jay, and Vessie, right, okay. okay, he's Balkans, Australian, Scottish, but we all live in Australia, right. What I want to say is this, oh, you know, I've been through a bit of shit, right, but this is what I mean about not caring so much about yourself and get out and see other people. Not to give you realisation or clarity that there are people out there suffering more than you. It's not about that. It's about getting out there, having an understanding, because you never know who you can help by just saying, how you going, right? And, you know, showing an interest and then caring. You've got to ask the questions. They're hard questions to ask, right? And a mate of mine, Peter, he told me a little bit about Jay, right? Because I asked, right? You know, see if he's all right. He came into the fucking service station sweating a bit. But then... You judge one thing, but I'm looking at him, and he wasn't like that. It's sweating because of a problem he's got, right? But let's have a listen to Jay, right, about what he's going through. Very quick story, right? It's not to feel sorry for about. It is a sorry story. It's, it's sad, actually. But it's more how you get on with things. You got it. You can give up, but you shouldn't. He wants to live a lonely life. Just leave me alone type thing. So do I. But unfortunately, people like us... If we see things that aren't right, again, I've said this before, the sheepdog mentality, right? You can't leave it alone. Doesn't matter. You're too close to the flock or you're in the flock or you're in the way of the flock, sheepdog mentality, you're going to go and keep going, right? So this is Jay, right? So there you go. tell me a bit about your story with your wife and that, and what you're, how you're handling it, you know? Well, my wife's been dealing with multiple myeloma for the last five years. She has progressed and gone downhill at a rate now that's well she's at the end of life uh, currently she's in hospital I've literally left a little bit early from the run and come home to go and see her we're finding now that uh, everything's progressing very very quickly we don't know whether it's literally a week right. or a month and just let me say I'll just say this for everyone sorry to cut you off let me say this it, it might raise the question if his wife's that close God rest their soul, you know, you know, for, anyway, why did he go away, okay, he explained this to me, everyone said to him, go away, go away, the nurses, other friends and everything else, alone. he waited until home said it was okay to go, and that's his wife, everyone else was saying go, 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 he got to a point where he was packed, he was going to go, and he would have gone, but he would have gone without an okay, and so he wouldn't have had a good time there. And she, she rang him, she's in hospital currently, and she said, go, okay? So that's why he went. You know, people might be sick and dying and stuff like that, but there's always someone there behind the scenes that we don't see that needs to have a break and deserves a break from each other. She needs clarity time to think, and then he'll go back refreshed, and it's better times, true? True, I needed a bit of a break. I've done five years solo. Being husband, worker, carer, everything I can possibly do to make less for the healthcare system and more for my wife. Uh, we've been let down by our healthcare system majorly, especially our local shire yeah. and our local palliative care teams. And that's Horsham? Yeah, Horsham and Northern yeah. Grampians. Um, she's also been harassed by the police yeah. and has to go to court. Now, she's in a deathbed, <laughs> but she's got to go to court on Thursday. So we're trying to figure that one out for no reason. Again, all hearsay. How you'd attack a dying woman, I don't know. Yeah. But, now, how's your mate here? Sorry, so yeah. And your mate here, how's he, how does he help you? Oh, Obviously, Vessie's you lean my, on him a yeah, bit. Yeah, Vessie's my And mate, you lean you know? on him. Yeah. yeah. This is Vessie. Just seeing uh, all the care that he does for his wife and that just makes you, makes you want to help him. And, and do good things for him. Like I personally met him just delivering wood to his house. And you're and what you're you're a chippy. Uh, I'm I'm an, I'm a tradie. So tradie, tradie, sorry. Like handyman business. Yeah, yeah I have my own handyman business, uh, which yeah. also helps other people in need. Yeah. But uh, with Jay, we sort of click in because we have similar interests. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Like. and Jay, I might add, he's a blacksmith, right? Did not wind this up because we're going to swap numbers. I want to keep in contact because we've spoken about some things that we we feel the same about and that. But it just you know. This is where my channel is, I'm not about the content. I don't go out looking for this, right? We said goodbye back in Taylor Bend. He pulled in at a, at a roadhouse where I was just kicking back and he rode in. 
just off the blue. And he's gone, oh, you want to, where are you going? I'm going back to Melbourne. Yeah, well, so we rode the rest of the way. Right, and this is where I was thinking in my head, this is what it's about. I didn't want to come out because I was fighting my own demons. Peter rang me, right, and I said, oh, I'll come. And then it's turned into this. I've met, you know, Jay and Bessie. Destiny. You know, and, and yeah, yeah, Destiny, right? And, you know, and it's like, this is what I'm saying. There's other YouTubers out there speaking on this and on their channel, you've got to do this. But you know what I'm not finding they're doing? They're not actually getting out there and meeting the people, the audience that they're trying to get to. I don't... I didn't come out looking for this. It would be fucking shit if I'm the person trolling for people in pain. I don't do that. I just walk through life and we bump. It's amazing how two broken souls or whatever you might will join together. And that, and I say that in broken souls in the meaning is if you're not broken, you're not going to join. You've got to be broken to join. Yeah. right? And these people sitting behind you know, their phones or their iPods and stuff you know, and talking, influencing and stuff like that. They're not broken. They're reading a book and they're talking it out and then they want to get subscribers and likes and then you're earning money off it and stuff. My channel's not about money. I'm 850 subscribers and I'm not paid with YouTube yet, right? But I will say this, while I'm in front of these men here, right? When I make a 1,000 subscribers, which makes me monetary, right? For every dollar I make on YouTube, if any, and I'm not hoping to, but if I do, 30 cents of that dollar, right? Of every dollar I make, will be put aside and then to me to my subscribers i'll ask each of them or put it out there what do we do with this much money we've got a lump of money so after five three months or so i've got 500 bucks it might be to get someone that someone knows to see a relative that's in need or go to a certain charity or let's put together a sausage sizzle to wait raise more money and that and put it somewhere that's what it's about you know you got to get out there forget about your own sorrows get up there and that and and just See what's out there to know you've got a purpose in life, you know, to help somebody else meet someone that you connect with. True, you believe Absolutely, in all of that? Yeah, Absolutely. everyone has a story, so people need to listen, take a little bit of patience, a little bit of kindness, understanding, and understanding. That's the, and that's that's, the that's for everyone, that's yeah. for understanding. And to tell you this, right? So, I got them both, we've all got custard tarts, so they didn't have any fucking pies. <laughs> So there, that's one for you. Thanks, mate. And that, so there. Yeah, now we'll say, go get a pie. Go get a pie. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks, mate. Thanks.